Which is quickest in a drag race, a Porsche 911 Turbo S or a mildly tuned BMW M3 Competition X-Drive? Well, we're going to find out because I'm going to race them over the standing quarter mile because I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Car Wow. Buy, sell, car, wow. Now let me tell you about this Porsche 911 Turbo S. It is the king of drag races because it launches so well every single time. It's powered by a 3.8 litre twin turbo flat six that puts out 650 horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque. It's got all wheel drive, an eight speed dual clutch automatic gearbox, weighs in at 1,640 kilos and it costs 180,000 pounds. That BMW is far less expensive. It starts from 84,000 pounds, though it's had 8,000 pounds worth of modifications fitted to it at Tom Wrigley Performance. What that does is take the 3 litre twin turbo straight six from 510 horsepower all the way up to 750 horsepower. It's also got 900 newton meters of torque instead of the standard 650 newton meters and there is no penalty to the weight really it still weighs in 1.7 tons. Now if you'd like to compare the stats of these two cars just pause your video now. If not, then stay with me and we'll have a chat with the driver of the BMW. Hello, Yanni. Hi, Matt. How are we? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. But I'm sitting inside a very, very red car. It's a little bit like an abattoir in here. I'm sitting inside a Smurf on the outside. It's nice. I'm a bit concerned, though, because you're in a Porsche Turbo S and I'm in a... What am I in? I'm in an M3. Yeah. You're an M3, you know, it's like half the price of a Turbo S, it's got less power, it doesn't launch as well, blah, 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 blah. So you should definitely lose, right? Well, yeah, unless there's something I don't know. Tell me, please. I don't need to tell you anything. The car will tell you all that you need to know, all right? So I think we should just get on with the job of launching them. Before we do though, if you like these kind of drag race videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss when we upload some more videos and we filmed some really cool ones today. And there's something in particular that's coming that you won't want to miss out on, trust me. Now before we race, let's do the customary car wow sound check. So I'm going to rev up this Porsche. Okay, do you want to win the first challenge, Jenny, by revving up that BMW? Wow, sounds like an aeroplane. Wow. It sounds absolutely mental. Anyway, if you're thinking about changing your car, you can do all through CarWow. You can buy your next car through us, new or used, and you can sell your current car through us as well. To sell your current car through us, all you have to do is upload some photos, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on your car. Just pick the highest offer, they'll come to your house, take the car away, and put the money into your account it's easy. If you want to check that service out right now, click on the pop-out banner up there or follow the link in the description below. Alternatively, you can just simply Google help me car wow and we'll help you change your car. Right, now let's do the race. Three, two, one. Oh, this went sideways a bit. Oh my God. That BMW is quick as... Oh my God, I beat him. So my launch was all right. Bit of wheel spin, went a bit sideways. Uh, could do better. How about yours? What am I driving? What is this? Like, wh wow, what is this? So it's been tuned, you know, bought on tune upgrades, you know, not a built engine or anything, but it's gone from 510 horsepower to 750. And boy, does it put its power down, right? Wow, <laughs> this is quick. And I can't believe I looked over you and I'm like, he ain't catching me. He's not gonna catch me. And that's a turbo race. Wow, uh, wow. Oh, come on, Porsche! Come on! It's coming back! Catch him. Well, that was a 
bummer, isn't it? I got a brilliant launch there, but yours didn't look as good as your first launch. I guess it's the decider. Yeah, he's right. Best two out of three. Let's do it. Gutted. I got a great launch. I'm probably not going to do much better than that. And you still won. Happy, happy days. That makes it two to me and one to you, which means I'm the winner. So then what exactly happened? Well, the BMW won, completing the standing quarter mile in 10.1 seconds. The Porsche took 10.3 seconds. Now we're going to have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour, the car in their least sporty settings. We're going to race to the half mile. Automatic modes for the gearbox. Three, two, one, go. Kick down. What? That, that, how did that kick down quicker than this? Oh my God. And this is efficient. What? How did that happen? I can't believe how quickly your car kicked down its gearbox. I wasn't anticipating that. Mate, there was nothing efficient about that. That was, it was like I was in sport mode and we know I was inefficient because I can see it on the screen. I wonder if because it's tuned, there is no such thing as efficient anymore. It's just words on a screen, but behind the scenes, it's just full, full power. I would think so. It was fast. Okay, let's go into the sportiest settings now then and do an in-gear race. We'll do this, roll on 50 mile an hour, third gear, manual mode. Sportiest settings, here we go, you ready? Three, two, one, go. Boost, boost, boost. Very little turbo lug on this. Oh, that car is so, so quick. Done, 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 done. Romeo done, mate. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and it's crazy. Eight grand's worth of upgrades to make that car do that. Eight grand. Such good value. Mate, that is so, so cheap. Eight grand is absolutely nothing. Like, literally nothing for what it's done to this car. And it works so well, it doesn't feel like it can't cope with it either, does it? Yeah, usually when you're driving these sort of cars and they're souped up, you think they're gonna break down. Nothing at all. The only thing I will say is the brakes. When I'm on the brakes a little bit, they're a bit grindy. So I put some ceramics on this, but yeah, wow, amazing. And that brings us on to the brake test. Right, here we are then. Final challenge, brake test from 100 miles an hour. When we reach the line, full emergency stop. The car that stops in the shortest distance wins. If you'd rather watch another drag race, with a bunch of Porsche 911 turbos. Click on the pop-out banner up there or follow the link in the description below. If you'd rather watch a brake test, it's about to happen right now. That was closer than I thought it would be. A lot closer. Should have been closer. I think I delayed on my brake test, so it would have been a bit closer. I think you'd have still won, but I would have been a little bit closer. Don't try and do my good work, okay? Yeah, this is how it ended up, it's the result, all right? No excuses. But we all know, the only one that counts is the drag race. And I won two to one. Thank you very much, good night and God bless. Listen, if you're after a performance car, right, I found a really good offer on one through car, well, it's a BMW. Click on the pop-out banner up there, or the link in the description below to see the car and the saving through car, wow. Hope you all enjoyed the video anyway. Give it a like if you did. Let me know which of these two cars you'd rather have in the comments below, bearing in mind how much they cost. If you want to watch some more videos, just click on those windows there. And if you click on that box there, you can go to CarWow to change your car the easy way. Not only can you buy your next car through us, new or used, you can sell your current car. Just upload some photos, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on your car. It's easy. Thanks for watching.